so today in this class we discuss the match or index formula uh, we have used the x lookup formula if you have data unique id in the data unique id in the middle of the data okay when you have the, your unique id in the middle of the data we look up we look up can't look up the uh, rightmost column we look up only look up to leftmost column okay so that time we use the XLOOKUP. But problem is that XLOOKUP is the latest formula and this formula available in the latest Excel 2065, 365 and 2021. So if you if have used the 2016 and lower version, the how can look up the value if your ID in the middle of the data? Right, sir? Do you understand the problem? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 So I want 107 order value and quantity sold. So we have quantity sold, we have lookup because quantity sold is the after that unique ID. But order okay. values can't look up with the lookup. So now we use the match formula. Match formula, match the, your number in the ID. And if found the ID, give the row index number, it nines. So match is count from the, your ID, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So so the 9. You have remember, this is not the uh, give the row number. This is the row index number. It match count the, from your starting the data and be where is the get the data and that, that counting will be shown. Okay. Okay, we have the two formula. First index index formula give the data if you have enter the row and column number to so first select your data and enter the row number so row number is nine and column number is two so index search the row number nine and row and call number two so 124.46 give here but when you have apply the match formula in row number is nine nine in the manual we have right here match formula so match formula find the value id in the column d and give the row number right sir only you only put you match. match yeah okay so we have now 110 you can see the result 120 so we have so we have used the match or index formula and we create the formula like we look up, right? Yeah, for yeah, one so column only, only for one, one specific number. Yeah, search the match, uh, just understand. Match formula search any uh, cell value to call and column and give the row and column index number. Index formula, if you give the row and column number, then data show from the your table so we have club both of the formula and make the lookup formula okay 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 but problem is that the offset formula sorry uh, sorry index formula need to select your data okay yeah. sometimes yeah. my data will be increase and decrease that time need to change your table area data area here in the index formula so we have used the offset formula offset formula select only for starting of the data now we okay. give the row number nine and column number two give the result one and three but give why give the, the wrong result because offset formula start the counting from zero not a one it means you give the eight and one Sorry, then give the result one two four so offset formula starting here the eight row it means nine row zero one two three four five six seven eight okay and zero one so give the one twenty four now we have copy the match formula copy the match formula and paste on the 8 but 
you had minus the one. Now you can also make the another lookup formula when you have merged the offset and match in the one formula, then also create the another lookup formula. And this formula, no need to select your data, just select the starting of the data. Okay. 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 Now, now we have uh, do some tricks with the lookup. So uh, I have the data, right? And in the my data, yeah, yeah. I have a name and city and quantity, right, sir? Yes. Yes. I want to uh, show the data, the Puja and Noida. But problem is that we look up is not recognize the multiple criteria. Only for one criteria. So we look up only for look up the Puja or Noida. Not a Puja and Noida combined. Okay, because Puja is the multiple city, let's say Puja and Noida also. Puja and Pune also. So when you have no, applied no. the Puja, so it's just look up the 23, not a look up the 65. Okay, sir? Okay. okay. So that time we have used the some trick. We have merged the insert the one cal column before your data, starting your data. And Puja and give the dash and Pune. We have merged the Puja and Pune together and the dot down here. So we have you make the unique code. We make the unique code. A unique ID. We have combined the Puja and City. Puja name on City with separate with dash. Now we have applied the VLOOKUP and lookup value we have also combined with name and city. Now we have select the one, two, three, four, and give the four number colon and comma zero. Press the enter, we got the result. Do you understand, Mr. Jed? Just one for one. 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 One for what? This one, this one, this one up for the common one. Yeah. Okay. okay. One second, one second. Okay. So first, first understand okay, what is problem. Yes. Problem is I want to make the two will two criteria in the VLOOKUP, but VLOOKUP can't consider any 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 more, more than one criteria only for one criteria. It means puja. So that time we have make the one unique ID. We have combined the puja and city. We put name on city in the one cell with dash. Dash the separator, no need to dash, but you will enter the separations. And now, where is the apply the uh, Viluka? We have also combined the city and name together, same like your A column. And now, we have just applied a simple Viluka, we got the result within two criteria. 65. Okay. So, if you have apply only for Viluka with Puja, give the 23. But we, have, uh, we give that puja a puja noida the 65 this, this is okay. okay now second tricks in the my data have a some problem problem is uh we have right find the sujit but in the data have a sujit kumar okay so that time how, how can to apply the VLOOKUP. You have applied just normal VLOOKUP, no have any uh, changes. Normal VLOOKUP. But data is not so. When uh, we, uh, we have used the star character between your, which character you want to, that like contain. So your Sujit in available any cell with any other value we have made, we have find it. Okay, this is the contain. 
Sujit Kumar, Kumar Sujit, Kumar Sujit Singh, any any positions you have in the data, Sujit will be matched, just like Control F, Find button. But I want to start and with to give the star and Sujit. This the and with. So Sujit is the and. So Sujit Kumar is not fine, but Kumar Sujit will be fine because Sujit is the last, and we have apply here. Sujit and a star. Now, let us start with Sujit. Okay, Mr. Jack? Mm -hmm. Now, tricks number three. Tricks number three, it means uh, I have the data, but this is a multiple uh, country, uh, multiple repeat, repeated value in this column. Let's say I want to, uh, we have the name the Puja, I want to look up the Puja. But problem is, if you have applied the VLOOKUP, only for one puja will be lookup. Second puja will not be lookup. Because VLOOKUP give the only for one puja. So that time we have applied the filter property. Okay? Filter. Okay. Filter, we have select the your data and where you have match by puja to match in the column a select the column a and equal to puja check here so we have first select the data then select the column a column which column you have want to match with puja and select the puja press the enter you got the all result by puja when you have changed the data here home and now you can sorry home you can see the home value okay Mr. Jay? Okay. okay. And last, last for VLOOKUP, uh, my data have a two different different sheets, right? D1 and D2. Okay. okay. And I want to look up the data, both of sheets, just like first search the D1. If he is not find the D1, then search the D2. Okay? Okay. But VLOOKUP, can't use the multiple sheets. But if you have the if error formula, you have applied the multiple VLOOKUP in one set, two VLOOKUP in the one set. So if error, we give the first VLOOKUP. IV, go to the data one, select the data one, comma two, comma zero. Now we have also applied the second VLOOKUP. Select the A2, comma, now second sheet. Select like the data, comma two, comma zero. Okay. So we have applied the two VLOOKUP in the one cell using the if error. If error, first run the first VLOOKUP. If get the data, show the data and ignore the second VLOOKUP. But first VLOOKUP give the error, run the second VLOOKUP. Okay. 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 This is the VLOOKUP topic. So today we finish the VLOOKUP topic. Please keep the practice and tomorrow we discuss about the mathematical formula.